I am Heidi, and I I'm Chris. you all know my husband, Chris. <laughs> We're actually here today to talk to you about some shopping tips. As a mom, I find myself in the grocery store a lot, especially with three kids. We are always there. And you know, I've realized that if I don't have a plan before I go to the grocery store, kind of have a few tips and tricks, then I'm going to buy stuff that I shouldn't buy and that he won't be too happy to see in the pantry when he gets home. So, well, and, and believe it or not, there's actually a lot of science that goes into how grocery stores are laid out and how food is presented. Believe it or not, we mindlessly will, will actually purchase these foods because of the different colors and because of actually where they're placed on the shelves. And so, you know, there's a lot of time and a lot of money and a lot of science that goes into the way that these stores are laid out to make us buy foods that we really don't want to buy. So yeah. what are some tactics that we can use? You know, well, when you're in the grocery store, um, try and stay around the perimeter of the grocery store. Typically, the aisles are gonna have the processed food that you probably shouldn't be putting in your pantry. No. Perimeter, you're gonna have your dairy, your eggs, your uh, protein, your- Produce. Uh, produce, yes, so very all, important. All your fruits and vegetables, all the good stuff, all the real, whole, natural foods. And the moment that you start moving down those aisles, now we're going to get into those processed yeah. foods and the boxes and the cans Cupcakes and, and all that fun stuff. I, I, you know, like lately, well, not lately, always, I guess they have all those cupcakes in the produce aisle. Kind of messes you up a little bit. Just try and like blind yourself as you trickery. go buy those. Yes, it's yeah, trickery. You don't want that. <laughs> but you know, and they also have uh, when you're checking out, you're always going to see all the candy bars and everything like right at the checkout line. So my favorite trick and actually it's not even a trick. It's just it's a rule now I have to live by. I have to eat before I go to the grocery store because if I don't eat, I'm going to buy way too much. Yeah. He's the same way. Never too. go on an empty stomach, <laughs> let me tell you. No. So uh, chances are when you get to that checkout line, you're probably not going to want, well, you, you might want it, but you're going to be able to resist the temptation to buy the candy bar. Now, there is one safe aisle in the grocery store, and it's somewhere in there, but it's the herb and seasoning aisle. And that's, I mean, really, when you, when you look at all these real, whole, yeah. natural foods, um, that's the way that we make them taste really good. <laughs> problem though is herbs and spices are in the same aisle as the baked go or like the baking thing so yeah. you have to be really careful there it's almost like you have to know which side the spices are on <laughs> and you have to approach the aisle from that side and then walk out or you know you know those things that horses wear with like the little blinders on the sides maybe he actually he we went should... to the grocery store one time with one of those dog coats <laughs> <laughs> yeah right you know what though we should invent some of those i think they'd be a hot selling item you better not take that. Don't take that idea from us. That's a good one. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot of things you can do when you go to the grocery store, but that's kind of a short little list of our favorites. Fun little tactics. See you next time.